Now let's take a look at how we put all of this together. What we have here, so we're inside of ClickFunnels, obviously, we have a three column row. And in the first row, we just have simply an image up here in the left hand corner that we have justified to we have while well, we have a 200 pixel width on it. And then we have that floating to the left. And that's it. Otherwise, there's really nothing else in here for that first column. In the third column, in fact, there's nothing at all. There's no elements. There's no anything in the column itself. It's just an empty third column. And then in the center column, this is where all the work gets done. In here, we have a background image. Let's go in here. So we set the background image, and this is the image of this gal right here in the center with the black background. So we set that as our background image for this center column. And then we put it as image position, no repeat, and 100% width, zero on the padding. And that is really its square corner. So nothing else is set in there except for the image and no repeat. And then what we do inside of this column, we actually put in this image. So let me go into the CSS and let me turn off the, the code, the CSS for that column. Up here at the top, you're gonna see, I have the entire page set as 100% width and you just do it with this code here. So everything is 100% width, but what we did then is we put this image right in the middle. So you see the background image behind here, it's not full size yet, but then we put the other image over the top of it. And again, let's take a look at this, we'll click on it. And we have this image, we have it set at 350 pixels for width. And let me see here, we have it aligned center. That's all you have to do to drop that image in right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into that CSS and we're just going to turn that code back on. And so what we have here is we have call center. So the center column, we have the background position of center. That means take that image and take the center of the image and put it right here in the center of this element. So we're just gonna take the background image it and center it right here in the middle of the column. And then let's go back in and then we say a height of 800 pixels. So if we take out that height, you're gonna see where to go. It went down, it's absolutely gone now at this point, but we'll go back in and let's give it a height of, let's take this out. And let's just give it a height of like eight pixels. And so it should still be in there. It's in there, but this picture gets pushed way out because it's sitting at the bottom of the other, um, sitting at the bottom basically of the other column and uh, where the bottom of that image is. So let's go back into our CSS and we're gonna put in our height of 800. And again, this is pretty much just an arbitrary number that I picked as well as the 350 for the width of the other image. And so I just, um, I just picked a number that looked good. And so then the image itself, the, the, the one down here, we have a couple of things here. We have, we're saying we want the position to be absolute. So when you say position absolute, you then have to tell it where you want it to be absolute based upon that column. So we're saying we want to come down to the bottom of the column and we want it to be two pixels, minus two pixels from the bottom, which actually what that does is it brings it down two pixels from the bottom. And I had to do that just to get the, the bottom of these two images to line up. And then we'll go back into our CSS. We have right of minus 100 pixels. And what that does is that pushes it all the way over to the right hand side here. So let's just make that a smaller number. Let's just make this a number of 10. And what you're gonna see is it's only gonna be moved over 10 pixels. And in fact, let's just bring this down to zero. and it's not over very far at all. Now what it is, you see here, it's based upon absolute positioning based on the column, not on the image in the background, based on the column. And we see here's the edge of the column. So at right zero, we are right up against the right-hand side of that column. So we just need to move it over 
as much as we need to make it look decent. And so that's what I did. I just put in minus 100 pixels and then brought it over and split it about evenly on the image itself. And then the last thing in the CSS is we got the border, three pixels white. So that just put a white border around here. And that is the same color as the background. And I think that is it. Let me see. I don't believe there was any tracking code in here. Nope, no tracking code. And so back to the CSS. So that's it. That's all you need is this right here and this, of course, to make it 100% width in order to get this to show up. So it's actually pretty simple, uh, just with a little bit of absolute positioning. You can take an image that's right here uh, and just push it over and you're done. So if you got any questions, feel free to reach out.